Tonight on the 10 o'clock news, these two Jacksonville brothers convicted on multiple drug charges learned their fate in court today. As it counts, one, three, four, five, and six, you're adjudicated guilty, sentenced to 30 years, Florida State Prison, <laughs> 581 days credit. 32-year-old Rashad Johnson and his brother, 35-year-old Marquez Johnson, they were arrested last year, tried in court together, and both found guilty. The drug charges they were convicted of included gang enhancements because the brothers were identified as the leaders of the 1200 Out East gang. News for Jacks reporter Eric Avenier joining us live from outside the Duval County Courthouse with more on what happened before that sentencing was handed down. Eric. Well, prior to the sentencing, the uh, relatives of the brothers pleaded with the judge to be lenient. However, the prosecutor argued that both brothers had multiple chances to turn their lives around. Then moments later, the judge handed down that 30 year sentence. One by one, relatives of Rashad and Marquez Johnson testified before Judge R. Anthony Salem. They were hoping their testimony would persuade the judge to hand down a lighter sentence after the Johnson brothers were convicted on multiple counts of drug trafficking, drug possession, and drug conspiracy charges. I often think about the things I could have been different as a parent. I know my sons could have had a better upcoming life. And he said, he's a family man. He is. And he's a good father. He's a great father. Your Honor, I pray and ask the true merciful. I pray that there are some resources to help them grow. At one point, both brothers addressed the judge and asked for leniency. I don't know what kind of sentence you will hand out today, but I will ask that you be lenient towards me. I have a beautiful family, which includes four kids and a stepchild. I am not a bad person. I'm not a monster. I'm not a gang member. Just a human being who made mistakes. I am not labeled as a menace, an animal, or a gang member, or in my community, or anywhere else. And I just want to say I'm sorry to my family once again for putting through the situation and letting them down. After their testimony, Assistant State Attorney Lauren Anderson reminded the judge why he should impose the 30-year prison sentence the state was asking for. They had the opportunity to better their lives after serving three years in the Florida State Prison and they came back out and continued doing the same pattern of criminal activity that they had been arrested so many times before for. They even moved out of their community. But instead of staying out of their community and getting jobs, the court has heard nothing from any of these witnesses about legal jobs that they had. They provided for their families financially, but how were they doing that? By selling drugs. Then both brothers stood before the judge to learn their punishment. You're adjudicated guilty, sentenced to 30 years Florida State Prison, <laughs> with 581 days credit. As the brothers were being led away, Rashad turned to his family and waved goodbye. State Attorney Melissa Nelson addressed the fact that both men were involved in gang activity that was tied to the distribution of illegal drugs on Jacksonville streets. She says the brothers had multiple opportunities to turn their lives around. These two men didn't take that different path, didn't take the chances afforded them. They made a different choice. A choice that is sending them to prison for a very long time. Now, it's worth pointing out that 30 years is a very long prison sentence, but it could have been a lot longer. That is because just based on the uh, drug trafficking charges alone, uh, both men could have been sentenced to life in prison. However, the prosecution felt that 30 years was more appropriate. Reporting live from outside the Duval County uh, Courthouse, Eric Avignet, Channel 4, The Local Station.